fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Sam's Beauty. Thank you much, Sam's Beauty, for sending over this unit. And we're just gonna dive right in. This unit is by Sensational, and it's from their Supermodel series, and her name is Suniva. Suniva is a Swiss lace silk-based lace front wig. She comes with six by four parting. Pretty much you have, I would say, this area here um, as parting space. Yeah, then it goes back like around four inches. There is a mesh cap under here. So, you know, when I flip over the unit, it's like this, I guess it's like the silk base part. I'm not sure why the mesh cap is there, but they do call it a lightweight contouring mesh cap. So I guess it contours to the shape of your head. It also says on the stock card that it's a flexible fit for various heads and shape sizes, and it has unlimited parting options. Also, this hair is a human hair blend. That means it's a mixture of human hair fibers and synthetic hair fibers. Now, I know we've kind of grown accustomed to like 13 by sixes and 13 by sevens with the new era synthetic wigs, but mind you, this is an older unit. This came out definitely a few years ago. So just keep in mind, that's why we have this six by four parting area. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. So let's just dive into the pros of Suniva, cause y'all, Hmm, I'm feeling this one. So the first pros of Sediva is this gorgeous texture. This is definitely one of the most beautiful textures I've ever tried on a synthetic wig. Mind you, I understand it is a blend, and that might explain why it's, it feels like this. It's super soft, the luster is perfect. It definitely is mimicking human hair very, very well. I'm impressed. It just makes me wonder why the Wet Lace Collection by Sensational just doesn't use these fibers. I've reviewed a unit from this collection before, actually. I reviewed Melba in the same blonde color, and she was gorgeous too, and I'm just like, yo! It's like, what lays? You don't have to use these, like, fibers that you would find on a $20 unit. Clearly, you have cheaper units within your collections that have beautiful, beautiful textures, like, my God! Oh my God, this is absolutely gorgeous. It feels so good to the touch. I really, really wish what lace used these fibers. So that's a major pro for me. Most of you already know that fibers are super important to me on a unit because I mean, that's what's made up of the wig, the hair, right? So I'm just so pleased with that. So much so that I can't keep my hands out the damn hair. Like, ah, it feels so good. The second pro to this unit is this color. This blonde is everything. I'm so here for it on my dark brown skin tone. I used to be wary about the 613 blends on my skin until I tried a wig by Bobby Boss called Yanni. If you haven't seen that video, it'll be up in the cards above. Please check it out because Yanni was bomb and the way they blended it was just beautiful. That wig made me fall in love with 613s. It made me a believer of the 613 on my skin. And I was like, okay, I can get into this. I love it. This color is the T2 27 613 color. And it may be hard to see on in this camera, but the dimensions of the color this wig are amazing. It goes back and forth between 613, 27, 613, 27 in between the strands. And then don't get me started on the rooting. I love a properly blended dark root. I hate seeing wigs that is where it's just like 1B, blonde, like it's so stark. Look at the way this is blended. This is beautiful. They did an amazing job. It looks like a professional coloring job that you would find on a human hair wig. And it's dark rooted throughout the wig, which I really like. The rooting gets a little funky back here, but that's fine because you can't see it. It looks good where it counts, right up here. So I'm not mad about that. I also really love the density. I would say this is a pretty full density, like around 150, 160%. This is all the hair to the front, and I, I think it looks great. Normally, I like a lighter density, but this works just fine for me. As I touch the back of my head, I'm not feeling tracks, I'm not feeling my cornrows, so I'm good to go. I do like the style of this wig, the sleek style. I like that it comes with these light layers right here. The pros to this wig are so important to me. Color, fibers, rooting. I mean, I, I love it. 
straight up. As far as the cons, I would say one con is the cap size. To me, it's not thick and friendly. If you look here, it's not really reaching me ear to ear at all. I have, you see all this hair that's coming out here. So if you have a larger head, like 22 and a half, 23 inches or more, you know, you might find yourself trying to stuff your head in this thing. Another con I wanted to touch on is the hairline of this unit. It does need to be tweezed. Um, I know we've gotten used to pre-plugged hairlines. This is not that. So if you want it to look more natural, I would definitely tweeze the hairline. As far as the actual parting space, you know, we've become accustomed to 13 by sixes, 13 by fours. So the six by four may not seem enough for a lot of people, but for me, it's not a big deal. I think with this hair, I would only wear it down like this anyway, and also to the side. Ooh, let me show you what it looks like to the side. You see that? It looks so good. I mean, even with the cons, I think this is a solid unit. It retails for $42.99. However, with the added color, it equals $44.99. So it's a $2 upcharge. Not a huge deal. I think it's a gorgeous, amazing unit. I would definitely purchase this wig. I mean, for the beautiful texture alone and this color. Now, the colors that they offer are pretty basic colors that one would offer. They have like a, a burgundy color, 27 color. Of course, they have the natural colors. If you don't want to do like a brighter blonde like this, you can always go for your normal 1B number two color as well. But yes, y'all, let me know how you feel about Sneeve in the comments down below. How do you feel about the color? What I said about the texture? Do you agree with me that what lace should use these type of fibers? I mean, to me, it's just a given. I feel like such a blonde bombshell in this wig, y'all. Oh my God. I need to go out somewhere. Like, where am I gonna go? Who am I going out with? Where are my girls at? Taniva, uh, uh, this was a good look. Sans Beauty, thank you so much for sending me this unit. If you are new to my channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button because I have a lot more goodies coming your way for January into February and you don't want to miss it. Also, remember, we are on the road to 10K and we are slowly getting there and I'm super excited about it. So make sure you like, comment, and share my videos and check me out on Instagram because I am very, very active on there. I post on my feed like every other day. I post on my stories every day. So make sure you come talk to me on there too. If you want to see some of my latest videos, definitely check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.